Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. Remember, P must be greater than 1. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, remember in the past I've always asked you to keep an eye out on something being the exact derivative of another thing. This is the exact derivative of this. Um, so, so you should have a hunch that this should, well, if this is being the exact derivative of this, then it should be easy to integrate. Um, meaning that we should use the integral test. So with, with the integral test, at the moment this is discrete, so with the integral test we would map a continuous function on top of something that's discrete. Uh, and then, and then we would then integrate this thing. We would then integrate this thing. So there's a theorem that says that, um, uh, this thing will act in unison with this thing. Uh, if this thing converge, then the, the, the original thing that we're trying to investigate will also converge. If this thing diverge, then the original thing that we're trying to investigate will also diverge. So these two act in unison with each other. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's that, that, a theorem that says that these two will act in unison with each other. So it really boils down to us trying to integrate this and, and determine if this will converge. Uh, if this will converge. Okay. So um, so now integrate it. So visualize this thing here as one over x as one block. And then visualize this as minus p. So you've got you've got one block multiplying another block. So this thing is exactly the same as this thing. But but here you've got one block multiplying another block. So for you to integrate this, it's really you trying to look for something in such a way that when you differentiate it, it will give you this whole thing here. So um, so remember, well let, let's make this to be our, our initial guess. Natural log of x um, to the power of one notch higher than this, so uh, so it would be minus p plus one, one notch higher. So now, so so this is our initial guess. Uh, but by the way, you could use to integrate this. You could use um, substitution, but but learn to do it this way. It's much more efficient. So when you when re remember, you're trying to look for something in such a way that when you differentiate it, it will give you this. So this is our our initial guess. When when we differentiate this, it will then give us. Uh, remember, this thing goes down. So I'm going to write it as um, 1 minus p, and then uh, the, the bubble stays intact, natural log of x. Uh, the power gets minus by 1, so minus p, and then you've got it times the derivative of the bubble itself. Luckily, luckily, this is the exact derivative of this thing here. So, uh, so times the derivative of the bubble itself, we should be this thing. So now, uh, now if you look at this, this matches up with this, this matches up with this, but we don't want this, so we would go back to our initial guess and then make the adjustment. Make this adjustment, uh, one minus p. Okay, so so I'm I'm, I'm just going to tidy this up. I'm going to have uh, uh, one minus p. Same thing. Okay, so now when you differentiate it, it will then give you this thing here, which is the exact same thing as this. So so the point is, when you integrate this, it will then give you this. So hang on. Uh, so, so when you, um, when you, when you integrate this, it will then give you this thing here. So now, uh, now put this into here. So just, just remember, what, what, when we're putting infinity into here, what we're doing here is just at the, at the back of your mind, just know that, um, you're going to put a very, very big number into here. So, uh, so natural law. Well, th this thing here, at, at the back of your mind, just know that you're putting a, a very big number into here. So it's going to be, it's going to be infinity. This this thing, this natural log infinity. Okay, just just have that at the back of your mind. Well, anyway, put this into here, and then that that will then give you this. Uh, yeah, that that will then give you this. Now put the two into here. That will then give you this. So now um now now it's just a matter of tidying this this thing up here. So uh so here you've got one minus p. Remember, if you have um uh, if if you have a minus b, you can factor out factorize out the uh, the negative one so it's, so it's really the same thing it's really this thing here is the same thing so when, when you switch these two around then then you're going to incur a negative just remember that so now we, we are just trying to tidy this thing this this thing up so here you've got one minus p switch the two around so when you switch the two around you're going to incur a negative you're going to incur a negative so uh, so switch these two around and then you're going to incur a negative. Switch these two around, and then uh, and then you're you're going to incur a negative. So that's this negative here. 
okay and then uh, and then switch these to around you're going to incur a negative uh, switch these to around you're going to incur well there's an well this negative becomes a positive because you're going to have another negative negative and another negative that will give you a positive well, well tidy this thing up that will then give you this so now hang on now now uh, you've got one block adding another block don't forget this is a negative block here so uh, so let's switch these switch these two blocks around so that's this this block here becomes this so it's nice and neat and then now um, now remember p is always greater than than 1 so um, so if you look at this here p is always greater than 1 so this bubble here will always be positive so here this is going to be a very very big number uh, and then to the power of uh, to a power of a positive meaning this whole thing here will be very 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 big meaning this whole thing here will be very very small times this it's, it's going to head towards zero this whole block here heads towards zero and and here well this this is a constant so uh so so the integral of that thing will come to a constant it, it will converge okay this the, the integral of this thing here the integral of this thing here actually is finite it comes to a stop it comes to it it comes to a number it doesn't head towards infinity so what 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 we've done so far is this hang on what we've done is this we we um we, we've just worked out that this will come to a finite number. It will come to a number. It won't. It won't head towards infinity. It won't get bigger and bigger and bigger. It will come to a to a number. So uh, so there's a theorem that says that if this comes to a number, then uh, then this must converge. So basically, this converges. This also converges. Okay. So our series here will converge. Okay.